Hi, I'm Casey, and welcome to the HelloFlow podcast, a space where we bridge together professional success and career alignment with personal well being and spirituality. At a time when many people are awakening to their soul's purpose and navigating that messy but magical middle, I offer this space for growth, well-being, and spiritually grounded practices to support you in your daily grind and pursuit of embodying your dharma. After tuning into this podcast, I hope you receive the inspiration, empowerment, and applicable tools to usher in more ease and flow in your life and equip you as you discover, develop, and evolve your dharma. Now on to the episode. Welcome to the HelloFlow podcast. I'm your host, Casey Canlis, certified Dharma coach, human design reader, and creator and founder of HelloFlow Wellbeing. I've also spent 17 years in the corporate world, most recently a decade in the sports and entertainment industry, working in what was once my dream career until I experienced what I call my ultimate burnout. I also felt like I was no longer living in alignment with how I wanted to lead my life at the time. So in this podcast space, we'll talk about everything from Dharma to aligned career transitions to well-being tools and so much more for the everyday driven and growth-led executive and professional. You have already found and are experiencing massive success in your career. Now it's time to go further and dig deeper in your own personal rediscovery and self-mastery. So in this first episode, I'm going to talk about my perspective when you hear the phrase, start where you are. We all go through different seasons and chapters in life, major transitions and changes or unexpected events that may take you off course, or on the other hand, pleasantly surprise you. Either way, you are at some kind of inflection point. You are either at a point where you need to make a decision or maybe even forced to make a change in your life. Start where you are can serve as a quick reminder to help you, one, strategize, two, make something happen, take action, and three, have compassion for yourself in the process. Know that any kind of transition or change, whether it's planned or unexpected, challenging or exciting is not easy. So having respect for where you are right now, your starting point. So as a driven individual, you want to grow and become a better human, probably in multiple arenas of life. You're wanting to experience success in your own way, not only professionally in your career, but personally, in your relationships, in your creative pursuits, in your hobbies, in your overall health and well-being. So when I think about start where you are, there are a few scenarios that come to mind. One, overcoming a challenge. Two, wanting to improve, better yourself. Three, starting something new. Four, thinking about or embarking on a big transition. Five, awakening into your soul's purpose in pursuit of something greater in life. So there's a quote that I love from Arthur Ashe. And if you're unfamiliar with him, he's a historic figure in professional tennis and sports in general. He overcame a lot of racial inequity, challenges, and roadblocks to become the first ever Black American male to win the U.S. Open, the Australian Open, and Wimbledon. He was also an international activist for human and civil rights and racial equality. His quote, start where you are, use what you have, do what you can. For any of these scenarios I talked about earlier, start where you are to me is appreciating that path you took to get to where you are now. Your starting point includes all the experiences you've had to get to this pivotal point. It's appreciating the opportunity to even get to this point, to have the privilege to make this choice or the chance to close out a chapter and start a new one, even if it was a choice that maybe wasn't yours. It can be an exciting point when you're ready to embark on a new adventure and do something completely new. You're still appreciating and understanding your starting point is that moment, this moment, and to honor who you are and the moment you are having at this time. 
I also believe that start where you are is about taking action, starting something, doing something about that thing you are facing, that thing you are wanting to pursue, whether it's overcoming a barrier or it's trying something new. It's about beginning the process of doing and breaking through your fears, your blocks, maybe even excuses that are preventing you to start. That's delaying you from doing what you really want to do and set out for yourself. How to create movement in any stuckness is breaking things down in micro steps. If you're thinking about taking a giant leap, instead of thinking too far ahead and overwhelming yourself, ask yourself, what's the next best step? What can I do to take one more step closer to my goal or intention? Then break that down even further into micro steps. Let's say, for example, you feel like you want to make a career change. You know what you're doing right now professionally isn't fulfilling you. It isn't challenging you. uh, You're no longer excited. You feel like you've hit a ceiling or you're just ready to move on. You want to take your talent somewhere else. Try something new. Stretch yourself. Take on a new challenge. Step into a bigger role or even go out on your own and start your own business. What paralyzes people is thinking how big of a change or leap that is when you're comfortable in your day-to-day. It's paying the bills and more. You have a decent gig. Why are you going to give it up? Why am I going to take all the time and effort to make a change? Years can go by because the thought of making that big of a change sounds exhausting and overwhelming. Starting where you are can look like journaling or speaking to a trusted mentor, family member, friend about how you feel and why you feel that way. Begin processing and moving that energy around, putting it out into the universe and even declaring it for yourself. It can look like starting to explore what that career change can look and feel like, making connections with people that are in that space, seeking additional support, And then use that momentum to keep going, to keep exploring. And one thing can lead to another thing, can lead to another thing, can lead to an amazing opportunity. Starting where you are is beginning an amazing journey you are about to embark on and having an appreciation of your starting point in all of it. Because when you are reflecting back, when you get to different points in your journey, you'll look back and be proud of where you started. So the second part of the quote, use what you have, is about resources, both resources you've accumulated on your own and resources outside of you. Don't forget about all of the experiences you've had up to this point. Let's say you're wanting to discover your dharma, your purpose in life. That's not an easy feat. It definitely doesn't happen overnight. You can start asking yourself, what were all the interests and passions that you've experienced and done in life since you were a child, a teenager, even a young adult, that's given you a sense of purpose and meaning, that when you're doing it, you just have this feeling of pure joy and bliss. And I wouldn't think of it as an occupation, job, or even a role in life. You can keep asking yourself these other questions. How have you served others in a way that brings you fulfillment? How have you expressed yourself in a way that's unique to you? What skills have you developed and how do you deliver them in a way that's different from anyone else? What natural gifts or talents do you have that you love doing and you want to share more of it to the world? What problems do you have solutions for that you've been thinking about or that you have energy and you have passion behind that you're wanting to solve? What new, innovative, inventive systems, products, gadgets, things you love to create? What what are those things that are fascinating to you that you've dreamt up and haven't yet shared or built out? All of these are just things to think about. When we feel like we don't have much to work with, we actually do have a lot that is within us that we may not have fully explored. Another piece to this is leaning on community, whoever community is for you and whatever support you are seeking. It's about being open to and receiving that support. And finally, it's appreciating what you currently have, that you're not missing anything. 
and that what you have is what makes you different and unique and whole just as you are. So start where you are, use what you have. And the third piece is do what you can. This is about going out and creating those experiences, building from those experiences and learning, evaluating, refining, tweaking, maybe even changing directions or building depth, whatever it is you won't know until you actually do. So what I think trips people up here is trying something and not knowing what the outcome will be, not knowing that it will be a guaranteed success or trying something and failing or trying something and being judged. You can do all the research, all the planning, and things can still not go the way you expected or want them to. And that's okay. Doing what you can is setting a reasonable and fair expectation that you are doing what you can in that moment with what you have. Failing, testing, and learning are all a necessary part of the process towards success, your version of success. And knowing that if you don't do, you'll never know what can come out of that experience that can eventually lead you to the next opportunity that can provide important lessons and successes that present you yet another opportunity and eventually that next season of life you're wanting to move into or overcoming that barrier you were looking to break through. Building the experiences, especially if it's something new, will inevitably not be perfect will inevitably not be easy. And that is the reason why we go back to having appreciation of where you are in that moment. You are only at that starting point and to remember and cherish that time in your life before you set sail for a new destination. So to close this out, think about you being the captain of your own sailboat, setting up at the harbor and needing to cross a body of water to your new destination. You don't know what that journey will look or feel like. You'll need to leave the comfort of the shores you are familiar with, where you've been grounded and settled in order to reach new shores. That can be scary, but also exciting. The journey you are going to set sail for is unknown, and it will come with some rocky, rough, and maybe even turbulent waters, but it will also come with some smooth sailing too. You can stay safe, remain docked, and never know, or you can take a chance and start where you are, use what you have, do what you can in order to make it to the other side. It's a journey I have taken many times with my own career and life transitions. In those journeys, I've experienced failures. That comes with it. But I've also experienced many more successes. Me going through those experiences and currently going through a few now too, has only brought my life depth, joy, surprise, thrill, excitement, once in a lifetime events. It has also brought the ability to build trust in surrendering and faith in following my own truth. So I wish you love, clarity, joy, and abundance in your own journey. And I hope that in whatever you are embarking on, that you start where you are, use what you have, do what you can. Thank you so much for listening to today's episode. I would love to hear what resonated with you. So follow and DM me on Instagram at Casey Can and let me know. You can also find other ways to stay connected with me by visiting the links in the show notes. Thanks again for tuning in and see you on the next episode of the HelloFlow podcast.